Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a professional looking business card using Google Slides. So I've loaded up here just a blank presentation and I'm going to close down the themes panel that opens automatically and I'm also going to pull down the speaker notes because we don't need that for this design. The first thing I'm going to do after that is go to file page setup, and we're going to set our dimensions in here to get the right size for a US business card, standard business card size, which is three and a half by two. But we want to also make sure that this is going to have enough room for bleed. Bleed is how much of the ink will get trimmed off of the final design itself so that it, the ink flows from edge to edge. So we're going to make it one eighth of an inch all the way around a lot larger. So I'm going to do 3.75 by 2.25. That gives me an, an eighth of an inch on every side larger than the final dimensions that it will be cut down to. And that's pretty standard for professional print setup. I'll click OK. And then I'm just going to get rid of all the filler content in here. I'm also going to go to my master slides. We're going to set up two layouts. So I'll go to my slide menu up here, go to edit masters. You see, we have all of these preset layouts in here. And I'm going to delete all of these layouts except for one. And then I'm also going to get rid of all of the placeholder content on the layout as well as the master. All right, then we'll go to our first layout here, and it's the layout that we want to edit. I'm going to create two layouts that we can use, one for the front of the card and one for the back. We're going to create a double-sided business card in full color that's ready to send to a professional printer. So uh, what I want to do is create kind of a subtle textured background, and I don't want to do it from the background menu because it doesn't give me enough options. I want to insert an image. So I'm going to go to the insert menu, go to image, and I'm going to search the web for an image. What I want to create is kind of an industrial looking business card, something that would be great for maybe a building company, construction, a warehouse or factory, something along those lines. So I'm going to find a concrete texture and we'll just pull something in here from the search results. And maybe this one right here. So I'm just going to double click to add it to my document. And I'm going to hold Control Alt and push the minus key to zoom out just to give myself a little bit more room to play with this. I'm going to drag it to the edges and then double click to crop it back down to the page size right there. And we can play with exactly how we want it cropped in here. Maybe make this a little bit bigger, get rid of a little bit more of that dark corner right there. Okay, then just click off of it. Then I'm going to go to the format options. I'm going to go to recolor, and I just want to make this grayscale. And then open up my adjustments, and we're going to make this very, very subtle. I'm going to increase the transparency to about 75%. We just want it to be soft and subtle just a little bit of visual interest and introduce that kind of uh, gritty, solid feeling with this texture. All right, so that's going to be our first layout. That's it. We just have a semi-transparent texture. It's going to work as an overlay when we go back to creating our slides. I'm going to duplicate this layout and I'm going to insert another image. I'm going to search the web, and this is going to be like a diamond plate texture. We'll find something in here. I want it to be nice and dark. Uh, that one at the top might actually work well. Let me go back up here, and we'll just double click on this to insert. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the clipping features under the crop menu. I'm going to crop it to a triangle and then I'm going to go to arrange and rotate and I'm going to flip it horizontally. 
line it up on the right hand side and then double click to open up the cropping and size the cropping to the the width of the page and then expand the image to fill that little triangle shape and that's something like that is what I want I'm also going to go to my format options in here I'm going to make that grayscale and then I'm going to make the brightness pull that down just a little bit I want this to be nice and dark while I'm in here too I'm going to go ahead and give this a drop shadow so we have this subtle drop shadow on our diamond plate image that's being clipped into this shape this kind of triangle shape so I've got both of these layouts we could rename these layouts so I'm going to this one's title slide that's fine for my second layout I'm going to rename this one and just call it the diamond plate and that's it for our our layouts so I want to get the same image so I'm going to copy this from my master slide go back to my this is going to be the front of the business card I'm going to hit paste and then I'm going to reset the cropping to a rectangle and I'm going to center this right in the middle okay so this is going to give us a nice backdrop to our text or company logo I'm going to make this a little bit darker I'm going to open up the format options and pull down the brightness a little bit more just to make sure we've got plenty of contrast for the text that we're going to put on top I'm going to change the background color to one of the built-in gradients here I'm going to choose this bright kind of lime green radial gradient it's like a dark yellow almost a neon green I'm going to choose that and we're going to use this color scheme bright neon yellow and this dark solid uh, diamond plate texture then I'm going to use a text box here draw in a text box and we're going to format some some text inside this shape here I'm going to make sure it's centered and I'm going to use a I'm going to use Oswald I like that font you can use any font that you want there's lots and lots to choose from I like to keep things simple and clean and we're going to make the text white and here I'm just going to type with the uh, shift key held down or caps lock company name and the word company I'm just gonna make the same lime green or neon yellow color and let's go ahead and increase the font size to something like 24 and we're also going to go ahead and center this center justify and then also uh, align it to the middle all right underneath this company name we're going to have a tagline and for right now I'm just going to write the word tagline slash company slogan and let's adjust the font size there to something like 14 that looks pretty good I also made this Oswald light I like Oswald because you have several weights to choose from and it's this nice condensed font next I'm going to create a new slide and right click on it and choose apply layout and we're going to apply our diamond plate layout and there it is just like that now I want to change the color of my background so that I have this nice contrast between light and dark that bright color on the front of the card or the company logo side of the card and I'm just going to choose black for the other side so I've got some texture in here but I've also got enough contrast to put some bright colored text on top of it and make sure it's nice and readable what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my text box here copy it from the front go to my second page here hit control V to paste it and I'm going to change some things up here for this one I'm going to align it to the left and I'm also going to turn a highlight on and make the highlight color black this is going to be like the info side or the name 
of the card, the person's name that this card represents. So I'm going to make some adjustments here. Let's bring our font size down to 18 and this down to 12. And let's go ahead and make this first name Jane. And we'll just say Jane last name. Then this can be the job title or position. Okay. I'm going to hit enter twice and actually copy the name and paste that in. This is going to be phone number. So I'm just going to put a fake phone number in here. And then I'll copy the job title position, hit enter again, and paste it in. And this could be maybe an email address and maybe some other info. Maybe an extension or maybe a hashtag or a user name or handle could go there. And the phone number, I think I might also bring down to maybe like 14. So you can change the, the size of the text. I would never go lower than 10 to make sure it's nice and readable. And that's actually a, enough for a really nice looking business card. But we're also going to make this a little bit more personal. And I'm going to insert a circle. And I'm just going to move it off to the side for a second while we apply the color and style that we want. So I'm going to make the outline transparent and I'm going to fill it with this same bright yellow color. I'm going to do the, the linear gradient and I'm going to get this into position here and I'm going to hold down control shift and push the down arrow key to move it to the back. What I want this to do is actually, I want the text to overlap it just a little bit. I'm going to snap it to the right hand side and then I'm going to hit the arrow key five times. And that's right where I want it. I'm also going to make my text box a little bit smaller and then I'm going to insert another image. So to the insert menu image, and I'm going to search the web. Now this is where you would want to upload your own image, maybe a headshot or some kind of image that would represent either the person this card is for or what they do. Maybe a picture of the location or something like that. For this, I'm just going to find maybe a stock image that I can use from Google. So I'm going to look for maybe a woman. Now that I have this image in here, I'm going to go ahead and crop it down. I want to clip it to a circle, just like we did with this diamond plate inside the triangle. I want to clip this image into a circle that we can put on top of this bright yellow one. So I'm going to go to my cropping tool up here again with the arrow just to the right hand side and select the oval shape. And I'm going to double click to make sure that I get this exactly to be a circle. And so I'm going to use the those blue smart guides to help me align this up to make sure I'm getting the exact proportions. And then I can double click and sort of reposition the photo inside that circle, click out of it when I'm done. And I also think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go to uh, the arrange again and flip the image horizontally, rotate, flip horizontal. Okay. Then I'm going to move this underneath the text and size it down just a little bit so that we can see that nice yellow color. I'm going to select the text and go to the format options and also give this a nice drop shadow. I think this is great. It gives us some depth. It kind of overlaps a few elements without obscuring anything or making the text unreadable. It's nice to have that solid background behind it by using the highlight color and making it black. So now we have the front of a card here. So there's our front, there's our back. What we could do is actually give this a name. This is our industrial business card. I'm going to make this template available for anyone who wants to use it. So check the uh, link in the description. And if you liked it, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more tips. Thank you guys for watching. Bye for now.